Oh, what's up? Time for a five-minute chess game, and it looks like we are going to have a boring London uh, opening here. All right, I will be six. So this opening, generally what I do is I just kind of develop my pieces very normally. Nothing too exciting. I'm going to castle. I'm probably going to capture on d4 next move. Just because I want to see which way he recaptures. All right. And then I kind of just put my knight on d7. I go pawn. I go queen to c7. I'm going to go a6 right now, actually. And I'm going to go queen to c... I'm going to try to go b5, but he didn't let me. I'm going to queen c7. I'm going to put my rook somewhere like this. Put my other one on probably on c8. Alright, is this a move annoying, or can I go b5? It's the big question of the day. I can go knight d5 also. Let's start with, let's just play b5, I guess. Seems like a good move to me. It's what I wanted to do anyway, pretty much. Alright, so like maybe, maybe queen b6 now? Maybe I should have went knight d5 first, so that this was not possible. I could go b4, probably. No, I'm going to go queen b6. You know what? I could have taken on f3. Mm. He would have had to take with a pawn. Alright, let's think. If I take on f3 and he takes with the pawn, is that a good thing for me? Or is it not really a big deal? Um, I don't know. I mean, I like, I like two bishops. I don't really want to give up my bishop here. So I'm going to just play, oh my god, my, my wife is vacuuming outside, which means that I'm uh, very distracted. Alright, I'll just go here. This is not like a pleasant move to make. I'm way down in time, but it's five minutes, so I'm okay. This isn't pleasant, I mean, I'm even worried about moves like d5, although then I have the in-between move of knight c5, so d5 is probably not very good. I can't imagine. I uh, see. I was worried. D five. Knight takes. Knight takes. Bishop takes. Queen. D five. I was worried that might be okay for, for black, white. But even that should be okay for me somehow. Oh my gosh, the vacuuming! I didn't know it was going to start in the middle of my game. All right, I'm going to just go here. I don't know. I don't know why I did that. Hmm. Might take with a knight, probably. Right. Oh, I just, now my pawn is pinned on b5. You make it, it's all weird stuff. Uh, I guess rook to b8. Why not? Just defend that b pawn some more. And, I don't know, position's okay, I think. Uh, maybe knight d5 next move? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe rook a4. Rook a4 looks like a nice little uh, maneuver if he lets me do it. It's just a, it's a good typical idea when you can play a move like that. Wow, I feel like this game's been going for a while, but we still have so much time left. What do I think with the bishop or the rook? If rook takes, he is like knight c4 or c4. I don't. I assume that he has no good pins. Knight c4 doesn't really do anything, and I figure I'll take the a-file for now. So what was my plan earlier? Rook a4, now it no longer makes sense. I like that rook on b8, defending that pawn, keeping my queen in a good situation. Maybe queen a5 next move, with the idea of queen a2. That move looks weakening. I don't like that move. I just don't like it. He wants to go f5. Um, that's a good idea, actually, that f5, but I still feel something's wrong with this move. Let's just figure out. Okay, there's a few things here. Queen a5, if f5, e5 looks perfectly acceptable, I'm just going to do that. We've got so much noise happening in the other room. Very complicated. Uh, alright. So this is all my plan. And I don't know, I think this position's solid still. Like queen a4, queen a2, bishop c5. I have two bishops now, and the position's starting to open up, so that's good. 
You know, it's clear, like, at this F4 type move, it makes weaknesses, man. Oh, that looks very risky. It's almost like, almost getting checkmated after this. All right, I'm just going to go for the attack. Um, King H2, I was going to go Queen D8. I, I, maybe there's something better. But it looks pretty strong. Oh, that looks like Queen D8 is forced mate almost. Attacking his knight as well. Knight F3, I take it and go Queen H4. This game's over. And it all it all fall apart with that F4 move, I think. Uh, weakening moves like that. Whoa. Okay, I can take his knight. Or I can. I can take his rook. I can take his queen. <laughs> queen H3, I just take it. It's pinned. All right, I had a choice of a knight, a rook, a queen, or a king. I took the queen and the king in the end. Um, interesting game. Let's look at the key moment. It was that F4 move. And when you when you don't know what to do, what you have to be careful about doing is weakening your own position. So yeah, I mean his position's like it's not so clear what he should do here. Um, I don't know. Maybe something weird. I mean I know this is weird, but like knight b1 to a3. Oh, that's a little strange because knight b1 rook a1. But just something, or maybe knight c2 to b4. Or somehow. See, knight c2 allows knight d5. I don't know exactly what he should have done. I'm just, I just know that f4, this move creates so many problems. And notice, remember how I was like immediately concerned about this move. It makes weaknesses everywhere. And it's the reason he lost. He got checkmated because he made this type of move. This didn't, this didn't really do anything. He probably missed e5. And now all of a sudden, my bishops are coming to life. And notice I said that. I was like, oh, the position's opening up for my two bishops. And all of this stuff is what won me the game, the recognition of all of these just general positional ideas. You know, f4 is weakening, two bishops are going to be strong, and now his king is just caught in a deadly crossfire. Uh, king h2, same thing. Queen d8 attacks the, the knight and, and queen h4. There's no defense. So, you know, solid enough game, I think. I felt like I made some small inaccuracies. Like, at this point, I think knight d5 first, maybe. And then b5. Uh, the reason being that I don't know actually. Well, let's say he takes. Yeah, I guess it's the same type of thing. I was hoping to get b4 in, but I can't because he played knight e3. And then after this, he can still do something like this. Now I had this opportunity to capture on f3, but I wasn't wasn't so excited about it. Um, I, you know, the bishops are strong. This pawn structure is weak, but bishops are really powerful in chess. And I, I just think that in this type of position especially, I would want to keep my bishop. Let's see what Houdini thinks here. Like what I, I went bishop c6. It prefers my move. I mean, it's close, but I just didn't, I didn't want to overestimate how important that weakening of his king style structure was. Because honestly, it's not so easy to... Like, my pieces are not near the king's side at all. Uh, and it's, it's hard to defend this pawn now without a bishop on c6. So that's why I didn't go for this decision, which looks nice. I mean, it looks like his king is like Swiss cheese, but in reality, I didn't see any real attacking ideas. So I just kept my bishop, and he made that mistake with f4, and that was the beginning of the end. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with another, another Bliss game. Bye-bye.